Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen and yes, today we are going to paint some really cute, pretty, fun dragonfly cards. These are super simple and easy. I go over how to draw them, how to paint them. We're going to be using masking fluid, doing wet on wet, some glazing techniques, scraping techniques, all in the kitchen sink. <laughs> if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, you know, this is the kind of a technique we kind of use in a lot of paintings here on my channel. So if you're new to my channel, check it out. A lot of fun. I want you guys not to be stressed out. I want you to enjoy watercolor and I love to play with color. And this is no exception in this tutorial. Um, if you haven't hit the bell notification button, please hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. We have a lot of fun over here. Really just fun and not no pressure kind of painting and learning and drawing all that kind of stuff. Also check out my Patreon. I have ad free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials, and a live stream in the top tier. And I just added a Facebook group so people can share their paintings and chit chat and all that good stuff. Um, you can check it out right up here. Boop. So without further ado, let's get painting some fun dragonfly cards. Yeah. Okay, let's go with my supplies. I have two pieces of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. They're like four and a half by five, oh, I'm six, four and a half by six inch. And two pieces of craft paper that are a little bit bigger. You can have any color you want. I have black. Um, be playing around. We'll be using some masking fluid to mask in part of the dragonfly. The brushes can be bigger and smaller. I'm using Princeton 12. Um, I may be using my Neptune series of 12, also just a wash in color, just whatever big floppy brush you have. And you can use the Princeton 8 long round for real details. I'll be playing with some gold paint, uh, gouache paint besides our watercolor paint. So let me go over how to draw the, the dragonfly. So basically, it's kind of, I don't know how to explain this shape, but um, you know, the little eyes, they have these big beady round eyes, right? And then it kind of connected to like a little head. It could be round, oval like that. Let me zoom in. And then the body. So basically two, two parallel lines and then kind of like make it curved at the end. And then you've got that long tail and it's really kind of a segmented. So it's be like this, like this. And you can kind of bend it a little bit, but the wings start from the body here and go out. So you start outward, bend down a little bit, curve up and down. See? Whoop -a -doop. It's like a little wave. I think about that time. So go like this and down, curve up and wave. They don't have to look perfect. Mine are kind of goofy, perfect, not imperfect, but like that. They don't have antennae. They have little legs, you know, and then of course the wings themselves have all these beautiful little intricate lace details, which we're going to be painting with some gold paint and whatnot. And then here you can just put in some nice color. You could actually put a pattern in here. And you, can, you want to give them goofy eyes if you want to make a smile, <laughs> you smile. There you go. So what I'm going to do for these cards, and to take these off here, um, I'm going to mask and fluid the body part. You could do the wings if you want to, but I'm going to paint the wings translucent. So I'm going to use masking fluid. I have this PBO drawing gum. If you use a, a pencil one, I mean not pencil one, they're like a pen one. Uh, I would grab just kind of like a crappy brush. You never want to shake this up. Just kind of move it around a little bit, but don't shake it up. And you're just going to do like the little eyes part here in the body. And then wait till it dries. You'll know when it's dry when it's not wet and it's kind of sticky. You can just do the little segments here. I'm just tapping it for the segments. It's pretty easy just to tap. And there's the goofy eyes on this guy. I've drawn in my dragonflies already. I'll show you how to draw it so you don't have to see me draw it here. And I'll just go fill this in. Not super thick with this um, masking fluid. See, I'm just going to tap for the bottom part here. Boom. Now you do want to wait till this dries before we go ahead and have some fun. This is the, bottom, the hardest part is basically drawing it out and masking it in. And everything else will just come easily. Boom, boom, boom. 
All right, we're gonna let this dry and come back and start to paint. Once your masking fluid is dry, then we can go working on the backgrounds. I taped my um, uh, paper down with just Scotch Magic tape. Use whatever tape you feel comfortable with. Just works for me. Some people say that doesn't work for them, but it works for me, fine. And like I said, just grab a flappy brush. We can start painting on wet on dry on the paper in the background, and each one can be completely different. One can be more in the pinks and the purples. One can be more in the blues and the greens. You can have a combination of all of it. So I've mixed up some purple using some ultramarine blue and some bright rose. All my colors, all my, all my paints are in the description box all the time. I kind of changed some, some colors up here and there, so I don't have a particular one set palette that I use. Um, I play around a lot. And I'll be using, like, here's the yellow, Cabin Yellow Deep, and I, this is a uh, peacock blue, makes a nice green. You play around with all these colors, right? Just bright, fun colors. I have gouache here, then a wet down and splatter, some gold that can splatter. So we'll go through this. So let's just start to get this little bit of wet. I'm just gonna get wet. It's pretty wet. Going over my little my little guy here and it can set I taped it on cover so you can move it around too so I can start to put in some loose ultramarine blue just to kind of tap that in All right grab the purple just moving this paint around here's the um, bright rose mixed in just going to town with this get some blues and purples and fun moving it down so the paint's only going to go where the water is, and the water didn't go all the way down, so I'm just kind of playing around with it moving this way. Going to grab some more pinks. Ultimate blue again. Get it as dark as you want it, light as you want it. Just play with your paint. See, it's kind of stopping here because I didn't have any color, I mean, uh, water here, so I'm going to go put some water in there. I got that pink. I love the ultimate blue. It's just a pretty color. So now I'm gonna add more water down this way. Look at that. And I can start to do some green on the bottom if I wanted to. Yellow. I can add some peacock blue. Just playing around. It could be like grass. I'm just going, or like he's on a, on a leaf or something, but I kind of want him floating, so. I don't know if I'm calling it him, it could be a her. <laughs> Going back and adding in some ultramarine blue. I can actually add some peacock blue. I love the turquoise. Let's get some of that turquoise in there. And a little more blue. Again, you can make it light and dark as you want. Let's grab some of that yellow. Prussian blue. Just making these swipes like this, so it's like grass almost. Got a lot of pink happening up here. And get conscious of what you kind of do for his body or her body. Um, if you want to make it more purple, then you might want to add more pink up there. Go ahead and add the pink. Kind of fun color to put in there. I'm gonna get this blue a little bit darker here, and pink a little bit darker here, so it's darker purple. It's nice to have some dark areas. I'm just gonna keep playing around with that. Mm, there's a lot of pink happening here. I'm just gonna tap in some blue. Some blue down in here. Isn't that fun? <laughs> While it's still wet, I'm gonna grab some yellow here. This is pretty thick. This is almost like creamy, milky butter kind of yellow. Look, you just kind of go over the greens like that. And the blues. It's fun. Um, we can splatter in at this point some gouache or gold. I'm gonna loosen up some of the gouache with the same Neptune brush. Let's we'll see how this goes. Cool. Try not to get your other card, <laughs> if you can, help it. So we splattered the white, let's put a little gold. Let's have fun! Everybody gets so stressed out about perfection. This is supposed to be fun. 
even when you're starting to learn new things like perspective or even painting more realistic kind of watercolor or whatever you're painting, don't get so stressed out. You're not going to get it the first try. I have some gold. I love the gold. All right, I don't want to overdo it in that one. All right, let's move on to the second one. Let's see if I end up doing the same colors or not. Maybe I'll just make it more blues. So let's try this, getting this all wet. Blues and greens. Let's make it different if we can. Get that peacock blue. Yeah. Just go right around everything like that. I'm just going to change this up. You want the cards to be different. One can be more like this one and have this one kind of funkier, which is maybe more like blue, blue, blue. So I've got ultramarine blue, I'm kind of playing around with that. Peacock blue, we can play around with some Prussian blue. Oh yeah. Just move the color on. I got water right on brush. See, oh, that's a lot of water. Whoops. I'm lifting some of that water out, put it back on my paper towel. And I've got some, again, ultramarine blue. Just all kind of blues. And go back with that peacock. So maybe I'll just do mostly blues and then add some yellow. Because you know when you add yellow, it turns to green. Yeah. A little bit different than the first one. Got a lot of yellow there. Let's make this one different. Again, blues on blues on blues. Getting that peacock right in there. Adding some more ultramarine blue. And get that Prussian blue, a little darker. You can kind of do the swipes and see what happens. That's just Prussian blue over the yellow. Kind of cool, right? <laughs> um, I'm even going to grab some navy. I have some navy here on the side. Just kind of tap it around. You don't have to just tap white. You could tap like navy, Prussian blue, ultramarine blue. I'm going to just throw in some ultramarine blue splatters. It doesn't all have to be what I did before over here. Let's see what happens with this. Even tap in a little bit of yellow. Ooh, kind of like that. Again, remember the yellow goes like this, it turns into green. Kind of fun. Peacock blue and yellow make a nice bright green. Ultramarine blue and yellow make a really dull green. Um, because ultramarine has like a little bit of red in it. Yeah. It's a little tie dyeish looking right in there. Kind of funky. This one's still drying and it's just kind of like what happened to my grass. Because it was very wet, right? You could go kind of go back over that one. I'm going to get out of my peacock blue, my yellow. And you could kind of go back. Well, it's damp, wet on damp. I'll grab Prussian blue. And you get more of a green grass kind of situation. So you just thick Prussian blue. Same thing with this one. This one's very wet, so it probably might just bleed the other way. Playing around with the Prussian blue, see? Cool. It's doing this kind of weird tie-dye thing. Uh, I could splatter some white over here too, which I might do. It's a very tiny splatter, so I'm gonna have to get this gouache looser to make bigger splatters. And some gold too. Let's let's give this one some gold too. Gold is really kind of like hard to activate. <laughs> it's right out of the tube too. It's really thick. All right. So now we have to wait till these lovelies dry before we can go back in. Another thing is you can play around with. Um, if you want to just scrape a little bit with a credit card, some grasses. Well, it's damp, not super wet, because what's going to happen is going to fall right back in, and you're not going to really see the white of the grass blade. 
See, it's folding back in over here because it's super wet. It stayed here. It was damp, not wet. Very wet here, damp. This is still very wet. So wait till it's, you, can, you can't see like a lot of the sheen. It's kind of looks like it's soaked in, but it looks a little bit wet. That's when you scrape. Does that make sense? I hope so. See, this is still too wet. Very, very wet. You have to get in that in-between stage where it's still very wet here. You can see that sheen and your hair you can't. You know it's wet, but it's not a super sheen and that's when you scrape. So that one worked out. Okay, we're gonna let this dry and come back. We're gonna remove the masking fluid and start painting the wings with some techniques and then we'll be done. Okay, so once it's dry, I take a rubber cement pickup. It's like a $4 little tool. I like it best than anything and it just really just lifts up that masking fluid really easily. So you having to use like an eraser or something, just grabs that masking fluid. And then you have your little belly. <laughs> so then we need our number eight long round brush for more details. This is where you can fill in the body uh, and the eyes. They can be more red or pink or blue, whatever colors work for you. Um, I'll probably use like a deeper blue, like ultramarine blue. I can just water this down a little bit. Just a little bit so it's like a cream consistency, you know. Um, and also make a purple so I have that same blue. And I've mixed it with the bright rose. Make a nice purple over here. I went a little bit thicker, not super wet. So maybe the eyes could be like a purple and the body can be um, blue. I'm just gonna fill this in like go like here. See, deep purple, maybe a little more blue would make purple. A little more blue. Just, you know, fill it in however you want. You can leave a little halo. See, just like that. And you can loosely fill in the body too. I'm gonna just add some ultramarine blue. And water, just add some water to the side here. See how I'm doing that? So it's thicker on the edges, a little looser in the middle on the sides. You can bleed into the top part here. See, I can just bleed them in, make it really loose. So it's not so serious. And leave a little, and then go back down on the little body part. The segments. Now, the segments you can just kind of like, I'm just going to loosen up some blue here. If it's not dark enough, get back in here and add some deeper ultimate blue. See how it kind of lightened up? I'm just going to go on the sides and add some deeper blue. Just like almost right out of the tube. So you just do these little bumps, bump, 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 bump. Or you can just tap in the color too. Bump, 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 bump. I know, sound effects. I like to leave a little white here and there. Now that might not be dark enough for you. You might want to add a, even a deeper blue or purple. I've grabbed some navy. You can just tap in some navy, almost black color, but it's navy, just to give it a little more depth. So that guy could be like the purple blue. You could change this one to be more pink. So I've got my pink color into the body. Let me just change it up. Mm. There's a little funky head. Make a little purple here. Kind of bleeding into the pink. We could do the blue on top. I leave a little halo, which is basically a little white. Um, highlight. That one's kind of like tie-dye bleeding into it. And I'm going to do the segment more pink. This one's a little fatter than the other segment. Pinkish purple. It doesn't matter. It could have been a little skinnier, but hey, do I, do I care? No. I'm going to bleed a little navy in here. All right, so for the wings, I finished that part. So for the wings, you can just take the color, like whatever color you want, or just outline it. But I can take translucent, like on here, blue. So I'm just gonna water down some ultramarine blue. 
and just kind of start by just doing the outline maybe of the wing here just like that and you know water it down so it's like a tea consistency so it's translucent over the colors that we just painted so the edge is a little bit darker but the wing is not so it's translucent does that make any sense i hope so so again here i'll take a little bit thicker paint not super right out of two but thicker outline the wing by the way if you can't see your um drawing anymore just go back over and draw with pencil like i did and then just fill it in now if you can't see it all maybe you make it a little bit darker we have to wait till each wing dries because if one's on top of the other one then this one's not so this one's kind of separated but if it's like overlapping you'd wait and then you'd have an overlap kind of glazing method so i'm doing an outline here and then filling this in a lighter more watered down paint Isn't he cute? And there's a lot of dark purple over here, so maybe I'll have to make this wing a little bit darker so you can sing it, see it on this one. And just go right into the body. And the same thing would occur for this one. I think I'm just gonna do pink on this one because pink, here we, here we talk about glazing. Do the pink color over that blue, my pink is a little purplish though over here. Um, whatever color you have, but when you put the pink over the blue, it should be turned into a little purple, see? It's just kind of pink. Water it down, and that's what glazing does. So it either makes the color darker or changes the color. In this case, because it's pink over blue, it's going to turn to purple. So here we got wet on wet and glazing, all in one tutorial, <laughs> and masking fluid. Um, so now this is going to be a little tricky because now it's going into the green. It might get a little brown. Let's see, because red and green make brown. But it's a bright pink, so we might be saved. We'll see. Red and green make brown, so when you go over the green, it should make like a dullish color. But the pink, I said, I'm using the bright rose. It's like a really bright pink, so it might not be that bad. I'm just going over his wings, like so. And then we're gonna have to wait till these babies dry. And we can put in the little details of the let, 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 let. I wouldn't call it lacing, but kind of like the veins of the wings, right? So we'll let those dry and we'll come back. Uh, if you wanna add little details to the body while it's drying on the Wing, I'll take gold. This gold is really kind of hard to manipulate. It's really thick. Do you know that was watercolor? You would think that this was gouache. And I keep adding water to it and it just doesn't wanna, it doesn't wanna budge. I swear to God, it feels like it's gouache. So maybe yours is better than mine, but this is the whole bind gold. Maybe it's cause it's so old, it's a little bit dry. I don't know. And then you can add some little details to like the wing, little dots. Maybe add like, little lines here, a little under, like go around the eyes. Get real detailed and have fun with it. These are dry, so I can take these now and add gold around the wings. Just go right in here and add some lines. You can also make it dark color, but I think the gold is pretty, especially when it's really dark over here. Just add the little veins. And also, if you want to outline the wings, do that. Got a little magical gold paint, right? We didn't do the legs of the arms. We can add those in also. This is where you can get creative, right? You can add gold flowers or just go take some gold where the leaves are and the grass and just kind of go like this. I'm just swiping. It's just pretty gold, really simple. And there's a nice effect to it. Same thing over here, I'll do it here. Similar. Feels pretty dry. So I can add the, ooh, you really see it on the dark purple. You just go around the edge. Really comes out. 
I love this technique. Gold really stands out on dark colors. And highlighting the wing. Go underneath <clears throat> the funky eyes and I can start to do some like fun things with the body. Little lines going down. Can be of circles. Coming down here. Just a lot of fun with the gold paint. Get creative. Don't have to follow me exactly. You know, once the paint is dry on the background, you can really splatter the gold and look really pretty. Because it's dry. Love that. So we didn't do his little legs on either one of them, but go back, excuse me, my big arm in the way. Grab some blue and just go like this. Hi! <laughs> little arms, little legs. Okay, then I'm gonna remove the tape and I can go back in with this blue. I'm just gonna go under, like on the right side. Get, you know, creative with your with your dragonfly. You can go around the segments to highlight on the pink one and even on the wing on the outside down here. Like I said, we didn't do the dark colors, but you can go add, if you didn't want to do gold, you can highlight or add some, see I'm adding some dark colors in here. It just changes it a little bit more, adding a little bit more finesse. Oh, sorry. All right, I'm gonna take off the tape and we're gonna come back and see the final result. Okay, so I've removed the tape and placed it on my cardstock. You know, I had a little bleed here. So what? If you have a bleed, either cut the edge completely. You don't have to have a border. It might look actually prettier if it's to actually just cut the edge off and it's just like a solid color right next to the craft paper. And then do whatever you want on the bottom around it. You can write words like, you know, happy birthday, you know, happy Mother's Day, happy Father's Day, you know, whatever. Um, you know, Easter, spring, whatever you got. It could be a sympathy card, whatever. It, be, any kind of card. Really, a dragonfly is magical. So, you know, people love to get things like that. So I hope this was fun and informative um, on how to just bleed wet on wet, use the masking fluid. Um, also, just how like glazing happens when you have a color trans, because watercolor is translucent on top of each other, and you create these really kind of fun, pretty cards. So thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Um, please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know, to know when my tutorial is up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We have fun over here. All right, take care and I'll speak to you soon.